It is out of place for you to live a life lacking the blessings of God. It is abnormal to be a follower of God and not to be blessed. The Lord has released His blessing and it is there for us, but some people are not living in this blessed dimension. The charge He gave Adam and his wife was to be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth and subjugate it and rule over everything. He ushered them to a life of blessing and that is how He has also ushered us into the blessed life and dimension. If you are under living, if you are not seeing His blessings, if your life is lacking in good things, then there is a problem somewhere and that problem is a function and product of your attitude, understanding and beliefs. Because God has released everything for you to be blessed. It is either you have not positioned yourself to access it or haven't done what needs to be done to claim the blessings. Just like the air we breathe is free, when someone refuses to inhale the air, the person would certainly die after some moments, not because the air wasn't there, but the person refused to breathe in, to access what has been laid and given to him. There is a common saying that you can take a horse to the river to drink, but you can't force the horse to drink the water. God has rolled out the blessings for you in abundance, but it needs your conscious and deliberate effort to access and enter those blessings. You can't blame God for your current situation or things that surround you. He is a living God and a loving Father. You are responsible and the person holding back and not accessing the blessings made available for you. He can take care of the birds of the air, the animals in the forest, the lilies and wildflowers of the field, the insects that fly around in beautiful colors. What more you that He created in His image and likeness. You are worth more and more precious than them all. But certainly, you have been keeping yourself from being blessed by God. You are holding yourself from entering that ream of blessing that has been set and open before you. You need to step forward and enter your rest. You need to push yourself forward and stop holding yourself back and behind. One of the ways you have been holding back and not able to access the blessing God has in stock for you is that you have been holding too much and have refused to lay it down before him to bless and multiply. Abraham, who we claim his blessings every day, did something and we saw the way God blessed and prospered him. Abraham was without a son, but God had promised him a son. The angels of God were on a mission to go and destroy Sodom. Abraham saw them from afar and ran off to them and served them before they continued on their journey. When they were leaving, they decided to bless him and tied his blessing to time and season. After nine months, the sun came through, but God wanted to know the heart and state of Abraham. So God decided to ask Abraham to sacrifice his only son Isaac. And Abraham didn't disobey and was about to cut his son as a sacrifice to God. And God then decided to bless him. Genesis 22, verse 15 through 19. You have been holding forth and refusing to release that small in your hand so that it can be blessed. If you want to access the blessing of God and step into the blessing ream and dimension, you must be willing to open your hand and let the small you have be used so that it can be blessed. Before a fruit is obtained or harvested, a farmer must plant the seed which must die and then in return produce an abundant harvest for him. What have you sown or planted that would open or bring the harvest for you? The story of the Shunammite woman is also relevant here. She was living with her husband and people 
but wasn't blessed with a child, and she accepted her faith and was comfortable. The prophet, Elisha, was a regular visitor to that community, and she decided to make an abode for him to stay and take care of him. By the stay of the prophet there, she was blessed and given an heir to her properties and estates. She may have died without being mother or a child to call her own, but she made the little she had available for others to be blessed and benefit through it. And that opened the door for the child for her. By this little act she did, she opened the heavens over her and her family and the blessing of God never departed from her house. She made way for herself and had the attention of heaven through the prophet of God over Israel. Even when the enemy wanted to steal her joy and happiness, it was restored immediately. This is what you access when you don't hold back to the small you have to have much. It is a law, it is a principle. What are you willing to lay down? What are you dropping on the altar? What are you willing to let go to be in the blessed dimension and arena? There was a poor widow and her son who had nothing left but a handful of flour and a little oil. She was picking sticks to make the last meal with her son and wait for death, but something happened. A door came for her to access steady supply, and she did. The prophet Elijah met her and asked her to bring water for him and also make bread and bring for him. She went and did these things, and the flour that was only a handful never dried, neither did her jar of oil go dry. Because of how she served the man of God, it opened the door of supply for her and her son, and they had food till when the famine was over. What have you offered to God? You may say, but God hasn't come to visit me, and I didn't do anything. Remember that men are God's method, Men are God's system. Men are God's representative here on earth. What have you done for that man or that woman that you see every day? Jesus made it clear that what you do to the list of the brethren, you are doing to him. You have the naked around you. Have you clothed them? You have the hungry around you. Have you fed them? You have people that need comfort. Have you visited and comforted them? When you do all these things, you are doing them unto God and He is a faithful rewarder. He would not allow or let your labor of love to be or go in vain. It is a good seed and it must grow and bear fruit. That small you have must be put to work so that harvest can be made. If you don't sow it, you can't get any harvest. When you hold these things back, you are holding back from accessing the blessings that God has in stock for you. When you hold back, you are keeping yourself shut from the blessing. You need to open up. You need to let go that small to have room for plenty. God is not looking for a container to hold the blessing. He is not looking for a storehouse or warehouse to keep the blessing. God is looking for channels for the blessing. He wants men that would make themselves channels and pipe for the blessing to flow through and pass through. Release what you have to access what you don't have. To learn in school or trade, you must empty yourself of your knowledge and be taught by the teacher there. If you are having your own knowledge and ideology, you will find it difficult to learn the new things that are taught. It is the same with the blessings of God. What you are holding firmly is limiting the flow of more blessings to you. You must be willing and ready to let it down and let it go so that new and bigger blessings and bounties can come your way.
God has said that he will set you high above all the nations of the earth. He will be blessed in the city and bless your field. He will bless your going out and coming in and so many blessings. He has promised, but you must be willing to lay down what you have to take them up. Don't hold back, lay it down and enter your blessings.